Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 5 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to embed um, uh, place uh, the photos inside of Photoshop. So how to import photos basically. So there are two ways to actually import photos inside of Photoshop. So first one is to place embedded and the other one is to place link. So let's see what place embedded does. So let me just drag a file right here. Let me just drag the second uh, picture right here. Okay, so this is place embedded. Uh, I can resize this and I can control the layer as I would uh, with the normal layer. And after I resize and uh, I'm happy with the size, I just press enter to place that out and make it a layer. So this is my place embedded. So let me just save this, uh, save as and then save it as a Photoshop file right there. Let me say embedded. Okay, so I'm gonna save this as an embedded file right there. And now I'm going to create a second file and over here, I'm going to import the file again. I'm gonna go to place linked right here. And from place link, I'm going to select the same picture again, the same file size. I'm going to resize this again and press enter. So I'm going to go to file and go to save as again. And then uh, instead of embedded, I'm going to uh, say linked. All right. So I saved both of the Photoshop files and both of them actually have the, has the same image. And one is placed embedded and one is linked. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop over here. And you can see that the embedded file is actually larger than the linked file. It's because the embedded uh, Photoshop file actually contains the JPEG file inside of the Photoshop itself, while linked files are actually uh, just linked with the image. So if I were to delete this image right there, then this file wouldn't work and the image would be blank. So what linked file is useful for is if you want to maintain small file size Photoshops, and if you plan to actually not uh, be organized with your files, do not delete anything, then linked uh, Photoshop files is actually good to maintain because it has uh, less, it cover up less file size in your hard disk drive. But embedded is more for when if you're not organized with the files because uh, if you can just delete these two out. So if I were to, let's say, uh, just delete this out like this, then the linked file wouldn't work because uh, it, 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 the linked file actually contains the link of the image and not the actual image uh, itself. But the embedded file actually has the image and has a larger file size because it contains the Im image within itself. So if you uh, want to just maintain one file, then embedded is the way to go. And if you are okay with maintaining multiple files and want, you want to maintain links, then linked file is the way to go. So that is how you basically import photos inside of uh, uh, Premiere uh, inside of Photoshop, sorry. And then over here, I just deleted the file and you can see that there's an error uh, right there which says that the link, uh, the file is missing. So if I were to copy this file, the link Photoshop file into another computer, then this wouldn't work. Then this would actually show blank. But embedded file would work. So if I want to just mail this to another person, uh, the embedded file, I can just mail this file right here. But for link, I have to copy and mail all of the files if I want to open that up in another, in another computer. So these are two ways of importing pictures inside of Photoshop. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.